all right so in this video we are going to understand why we weren't able to import from the other file so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new file called config.js and i'm going to paste this url in here uh, as a constant name mongo url and i'm going to export it and here i'll just import the file and import mongo url from the file so you can see that it is linked however we get an error it says unexpected token um, now we could have used require but instead let's just enable ES6 features on our node so first of all Babel is something that allows us to convert ES6 plus code to ES5 that is compa uh, compatible with browsers now for using Babel we can use webpack which is a module bundler and webpack uh, will be executed using gulp so which is a task runner and so yeah that's basically how we are going to enable using uh, ES6 plus code now keep in mind that this is actually supposed to be for the front end code not for the back end code so I kind of messed up in this uh, part of the video but um, if you are interested in using some framework that doesn't support by default uh, ES6 plus features then you can do this uh, you can you know follow this video uh, and that will be def that will definitely be helpful for you. Uh, so I just went ahead and installed Gulp and Gulp CLI. Um, and as soon as Gulp installs, which is a dev dependency, uh, it should be added in the dev dependencies section in package.json. So here you can see dev dependencies Gulp 4.0.0. Great. So now we can just start using Gulp right away. Uh, so first of all, let's just check what version of Gulp we have and we have CLI version of 2.0.1 and local version of 4.0.0 which we just installed. So uh, let's just create a new Gulp file.js and we'll grab this sample piece of code just to check that our Gulp uh, process does in fact work. So we can go ahead and say gulp file.js and we can paste all of this code. This is essentially just exporting a function that gets executed and we receive a callback that we then uh, basically call. And we can see that gulp file gulp file.js has been executed and it finished in about 3.35 milliseconds. Now, if I rename this to gulp file onejs you can see that it shows an error, which means we can't rename it. By default, it's supposed to be gulp file. Okay, so this is the default behavior of gulp, uh, but right now we aren't actually doing anything. It just goes into the function and comes back. It just executes the callback function. Um, so now, in order to actually perform some sort of operation, uh, we can have we can actually grab this piece of code. Um, so let me just switch my tab and I'll just go ahead and paste this as the default function. So I'm, I'm going to grab this function and I'm going to export this function directly. So do we need to get rid of default task or we'll just paste it here. So we've got a source and we've got a destination. Source is anything inside the SRC folder with a JavaScript extension and the destination is a folder called output which doesn't exist right now. Um, so I'm just going to create a new folder. Whoops, it's supposed to be a folder or a file. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put it inside. Uh, whoops. Sorry for the loud sounds here. Uh, but anyway, we've got config.js and I'm just going to paste that in there as well. Um, the new folder is actually going to be called dist because that is what I have added in the destination. Now I didn't import source and destination methods from gulp so I'm just going to do that right away. We're using require because currently we don't have any support for ES6. So here you can see it works just fine. Uh, it took more time this time so we're hoping yeah there we go so we have our index and config files in the dist folder which means it grabbed everything in the source folder and pasted all of that in the dist folder now to actually perform some sort of operation on this we're gonna go ahead and open the getting started of webpack.js.org and webpackjs.org i guess okay uh so npm install webpack webpack cli hyphen hyphen save dev so these are two dependencies that are going to be added as dev dependencies 
and we can just go ahead and skip all of this because the it just shows you how to create a new uh, project and then execute all of this so we can just skip to using a configuration and uh, here you can see there's a configuration given which uses the path uh, module of node uh, so we're just going to grab this and it says we're supposed to put it in webpack.config.js because well that's not exactly compulsory but i'll show you how you can change that so now webpack.config.js we paste it here we've got an entry which is index.js and we've got an output which is main.js and the path is going to be used for getting our current directory now if you just go ahead and execute this command here which is npx webpack hyphen hyphen config webpack.config.js and that is how you can change the file name you can just change the file name and change it here as well it takes a while um, i've just fast forwarded this part of the video to just make it a little bit faster and it should be done in a moment whoops so it throws an error now um now the thing about webpack is this there's just a this huge um output in the console and at this point i was a little bit confused because i was expecting this to work um but i do know uh, of a working solution for whatever i'm doing right now so i just messed around with this a little bit to understand what was going on but ultimately I just grabbed this piece of code I replaced the output all I'm doing is replacing the output section entry is the same so now output is just the file name and uh, nope that doesn't work either so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and set up gulp along with webpack as well so I grabbed these imports and pasted them in the gulp file here you can see that gulp is already imported so we don't need that uh, but we do need webpack, webpack stream and webpack config. Uh, webpack config is basically the configuration file we just created which is webpack.config.js. Now it now you can see there's a gulp task called js that grabs all js files, passes it into webpack and then just uh, pushes everything into the list folder. So now we're grabbing the source file and then we're putting all of those files inside webpack. Now since we have an entry point we don't actually need to put it in the webpack.config and yeah we're using webpack stream to call webpack config and within webpack config we have our entire uh, setup which is currently just grabbing everything and just putting everything into bundle.js. So now we'll go ahead and try to execute gulp so i'm just going to clear the console and um, i'm not going to do webpack i'm going to do gulp and hopefully this will work we have an error because we haven't installed webpack stream so let's just go ahead and install that now before i do that let me just give you the link where i found the solution to this um, so you can refer to it if you like um, if you go to that link i'm just going to paste it right here whoops i didn't copy it Okay, I'm just going to paste it here and you can see that uh, the solution is given here. Um, it also shows you what you need to install. Um, now this this is an entire webpack setup with Babel loader and stuff. Uh, currently we're just you know trying to run webpack. We don't actually want to use Babel right away. Um, so I'm just going to paste this here. And uh, the only difference you see here is a hyphen D. And if you're wondering what hyphen D stands for, D is for, okay, that stands for save dev. So that is basically uh, making all of this a dev dependency rather than making it, um, you know, uh, dependent for product. Product? I mean, uh, God, I'm so confused right now. Okay, so let's go to Gulp and that should just work fine, hopefully. Um, uh, by product I meant production by the way okay mm, fully this works fingers crossed let's see oh uh, something happened here again we see another error um, I noticed that this was actually an array not a string so I just passed in there and this is any fold any uh, JS file inside inside any folder in source 
and that doesn't work either so I scrolled all the way up I just tried to figure out what was wrong and you can see that it's using FS FS is actually a node library which we don't actually want to uh, pass inside webpack so at this point I realized something was wrong not in the gulp file but in the webpack file so I went back to webpack um, I just replaced this dist with dot slash dist in the gulp file I thought maybe that may be the problem um, and then just looked around a bit but going into the webpack file um, there, is, there are two properties that you can actually actually change you can have target and externals target is supposed to be node so it skips all of these modules that are provided with node and externals will contain an array um, wherein we'll pass node externals or we'll pass whatever is returned by node externals and that will basically ensure that we ignore the node modules folder so now in order to use node externals we'll actually need to import it as well which means we'll need to insta install uh, webpack node externals I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that because we're not using path anymore and webpack node externals needs to be installed so I'm just gonna go down here and clear the screen and do npm install and this is also gonna be a dev dependency so I'm gonna go ahead and install that now everything should work just fine because we are not using the uh, existing modules of node or using node externals now we haven't ad added babel loader yet but if you go ahead and execute gulp um, it says node externals is not defined uh, did i save my file over there okay so node externals is actually defined and I hadn't saved, saved both of these files so I went ahead and saved them and now when we do gulp awesome so we have our bundle.js <coughs> ready and we can go ahead and check it out in the dist folder whoa okay so this is what you see as the output and you can see there are a lot of imports that are not imports actually um, so the syntax has been modified surprisingly so we don't actually need to add Babel loader anymore um, we can go ahead and open the bundle.js and search for let's go ahead and search for import now I-M-P-O-R-T and you can see there are no results whatsoever however if you see in index.js you can see that there is an import which grabs uh, dot slash config which is not visible here which means it already converted uh, ES6 code to ES5 and okay so that means that's working now there's one more thing to do which is go to package.json and we need to add a new script so right now what we're doing is we are uh, using the gulp command but by default generally we tend to use the start command so I'm just gonna add the script start and I'm gonna say gulp now we don't just want gulp to execute we also want the server to start so let's also go ahead and say node dist slash bundle.js and uh, if you go ahead and do that npm start that should execute both of these commands what went wrong here gulp node dist slash bundle.js it says gulp hyphen hyphen tasks to identify what tasks are available by gulp so if you do that we see default so maybe we should just add default here and at that point I realized the mistake that I made uh, if you want to execute multiple commands you have to use double ampersand so we'll get rid of default and we'll save that file and go ahead and execute it again so I'm just gonna say npm start and at this point it should work perfectly fine so it created the bundle and it started the server as you can see and now if you go to localhost 3000 it works just fine and we can also go ahead and check in postman and when we send the request for slash get kitties it tends to work just fine we're getting all of the kitties great So, before I close this, 
Um, let me just explain what happened here. So we have a default function that is uh, returned and within that function we're calling the source method and we're passing in all of the files. In pipe we're just calling webpack and then we're passing the destination uh, in the last uh, line of code. And the webpack contains the webpack config. Config basically uh, defines what the output file name is going to be the target which is node and externals which basically gets rid of the node modules folder so that is it for this video however uh, you have realized that this is not the way for uh, setting up our backend so we're going to do that in the next video